Advanced Schema 2.64 has dropped today with two key new features. Now, because Maxim couldn't actually be bothered to create a video, I'm going to have to do it for him. So here we go. Hello, Internet. Terrible, terrible. I do apologize. But well, if we don't start it like that, it's not going to be Advanced Schema video at all, is it? Anyway, so we've got two key new features. We've got the Dynamic Helper and we've got the Image Mask Helper. Now, these are more quality of life than kind of game changes, but they are really useful to have. And they do make working inside Bricks Builder just a little bit easier, which is fundamentally what Advanced Thema is all about. So let's take a look, first of all, at the Dynamic Data Helper. Now, before we can use this or any of these new features, we do need to go in and enable them. To do that, come into your dashboard, into Bricks and into your AT theme settings. From there, hop over to the Builder Tweaks, into Elements, and make sure that you've got the Mask Helper and the Dynamic Data Modal enabled. Now, also, if you kind of find some funky things happen with the Dynamic Data Mobile, make sure this feature is actually turned off inside the settings of Bricks itself. So come into Settings, come into Builder, scroll down until you get to the Dynamic Data options, and make sure that you don't have Expand Panel when drop-down is visible enabled. If you do, disable it, save your settings, and you should be good to go. Okay, so that being said, let's open up a page and take a look at what this actually does for us. So I've got a template and I've got some dates. And as you can see, we've got some dynamic data in here. So we've got date, start time, address, and so on. So if I select this basic text field, you can see everything is inserted in here. Now, normally when you click the little lightning bolt, you get a small list and you've got to scroll through and find tons and tons of things. Great if you know what you're looking for, but a pain if you don't and a long list to search through. Now we've got this new dynamic data modal, which, as its name suggests, is a modal that shows all the dynamic data options we have available. And you can, if you want to, easily filter these out by specific options. The cool thing is, if you don't have any interest in some of them, you can just see the ones that you want. So you may have nothing to do with user profiles, but you want your ACF, click, bring them back up. Pretty cool, really easy. Like I say, not a game changer, but an enhancer when it comes to productivity. So this is a really nice way of working. And like I say, a lot of things you get with Advanced Thema are these modules that just make working with it just a little bit easier. So next up, we've got the option when you're working with image masks to actually see what the image mask looks like. A basic thing, but something that if you use image masks a lot, it's kind of annoying you've got to go through all the different options available. So let's choose this image. Let's scroll down the left-hand side, and we're going to choose the mask option. And you can see there's all our masks inside there. But if we click this little icon, we've got the mask helper. This will now show us all the mask options available to us using the image that we've got selected so you can actually see what it's going to look like. As you can see, we can pick and choose what we want. So we may want this particular one or this one, all you need to do is click apply. Boom, there you go, it's now set up. And now what you can do is you can customize it. So you can use the contain, you can use the cover. So you can see we can tweak this, your position, you can adjust that. If you want to have this repeat, it's entirely up to you. So up to you how you want to work. But as you can see, very simple and very easy. But having, again, the ability to use this mask helper is pretty cool. And as you can see, if you choose the options like the repeat and so on, it will actually show you inside you what it'll look like with the repeat function enabled, which, again, is a really nice quality of life to, to sort of have inside you. So I like that. That's pretty cool. But those are the two key new features that I think were worth taking a look at in 2.64. And like I say, because Maxim couldn't be bothered to do it, it's left to people like me to do it. So sort yourself out, Maxim. If you're going to release a product and you're going to release an update, show us how it bloody works. I'm only joking. Pretty cool. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. Until next time, take care.